Now, you're going to ask yourself, Casey, is it easy to take a hood off by yourself? No, it's not. You should always have two people, but I'm impatient and kind of dumb. Ow. What's up? It is Casey from Casey's Customs. In this video, we are working on the Hot Rod 1955 Ford, and we're going to build a tilt hood kit. Let's go! Back on the 1955 Ford F100 truck project. The build plan for this truck is to just build the baddest truck on the planet. There has been a ton of work to it. If you're not familiar with this build, I've kind of had the videos kind of spaced all over the place, but we're going to change that. We're going to start working on this a lot more regularly. Now it's so close to being done. If you're not familiar with it, I built the frame from scratch, built the floor from scratch. I built the running boards from scratch. All the mounts were handmade. Just so much handmade stuff on this truck. You just can't even imagine it. But I haven't been working on it as much as I should have the last six or eight months. Hell, maybe even the last year. But the good news is I got a ton of parts in for it. I never loved the way I mounted the radiator. So I got a brand new radiator. And anybody that's familiar with these F100 hinges, they suck. Let me show you. So first off, let's check your gaps. There's just not a ton of adjustment in these. Whereas you would want most of your hood hinges, you can just move every which way like an inch or two. I have adjusted these as far as I can all around, and our gap is just not great. <laughs> now, some of this is because I don't have a proper core support up front, but it's still pretty goddamn horrible. And here's the worst part. Let me show you. Now, some of you have worked on these before, so you know already, but if you're not familiar with them, check them out. They, like, pop up and they don't go very high. The way it hinges back, don't have any room to even do anything. And on top of that, whenever the springs go bad in them, sometimes I've seen where they come all the way back and actually start dinning in the cowl, which is just horrible. And here is the biggest problem with the hood hinges. Even if we could get past all the other bullshit, this one, it just doesn't work for me at all. It does not lift the hood very high whenever you're outside of the truck. So if it's at a show, we wanna show stuff off. This is a built 383 stroker that's chromed out. It looks awesome. I really like this engine and you just can't see it. If I was walking around, I would have to get on my knees to look underneath the hood. And that's just, we're not, <laughs> we didn't buy, you know, a $10,000 motor and transmission to not see it. So we are going with a flip hood kit. Now I was always going to do a tilt hood kit. It's a, it's a flip forward or a tilt forward, whatever you want to call them. I was always going to do that. I just didn't know which one I wanted. I heard a lot of bad things about certain ones, but we just built a 1955 Ford truck. It actually left last week. We got her loaded. <laughs> He's going to have a ton of fun with that thing. There it goes. It was actually the parts truck for this truck. We built it, got it on the road. And in that video, I probably had 20 people say, oh, get a tilt hood kit from Amazon. I had a couple guys send me the link. And this thing has amazing reviews. And I think it was only like a $200 kit. So we're going to be doing a tilt hood kit. It's going to go forward. Give us all kinds of room to look in there. It also gives us all kinds of room to work on stuff. And we're also going to go ahead and mount a new radiator. I never loved how I made the mounts on this radiator. It's, Jesus, I just realized it's in there crooked. Yeah, <laughs> apparently when it cut off the tow truck yesterday, it kind of jumbled stuff around a little bit. But that even proves my point more. I hated the mounts whenever I made them, and I was always going to just go. It was one of those things where I go, I'm going to fix that at some point. Well, it's time. I bought the new radiator. This radiator has the mounts built on the side of it, so it'll be a lot easier to get up under there. I'm rambling. That is never a good sign. That means I'm delaying work. Before we do any of that, we need to get this thing on my car dollies so I can get it over in the shop a little bit. Because right now, she's a little too close to the 57. Oh, also, I got an LS and a 6L EDE coming for this next week. So stay tuned. We're going to have some more videos of our LS Swap 57. For now, let's move this baby over there. Okay, got it moved over there. I like it a lot better over there. It's not so close to my baby. Yeah. Oh, is this my car, you ask? Oh, no, this is a customer car, but I'm slowly falling in love with it. What were we talking about? Oh, 
55 Ford truck. Got it moved over. It is time to take the hood off. I'm also going to pop the radiator out while I'm in there taking all this stuff off. Now, you're going to ask yourself, Casey, is it easy to take a hood off by yourself? No, it's not. You should always have two people, but I'm impatient and kind of dumb. So, uh, yeah, let's take it off. I'm almost certain to install the tilt kit. I need an extra set of hands or rig up a engine hoist somehow there was a guy online that like rigged up a hoist and it, he kind of made it look like he works so that's probably what i'm gonna try or i'm gonna get my dad down here either way i don't know but first off we need to get all this shit taken off get the hood hinges taken off all that fun shit so uh yeah let's do that so these hoods are heavy for a lesser man but i am a fucking beast so it's not even a big deal Let's take a look at our parts. Check it out. Kit looks really good. Uh, I'm pretty impressed. It's gonna take more work than I thought <laughs> because you you literally change out the struts and everything. I just barely glanced over the instructions and it looks like we gotta cut some shit in there too, but uh, I do like how everything looks. It's got stainless parts and stainless bolts, which is nice. Also, the radiator is 6769 Camaro, so it already has your mounting tabs on it. And those I'm gonna make bolt right into these that I already made. So it'll be super easy to bolt in. So that should probably take 20 minutes, which is nice. That I don't know, but uh, we'll dig into these instructions and uh, start cutting some shit. Okay, I have studied the instructions. When I say studied, I mean I've looked at this for about 15 seconds and it looks like my support rods need to come out and also these plates that hold the support rods need to come out. I'm supposed to drill out the spot welds and I believe where I drill them the other support rods will bolt in. I don't know. Here's the only problem. These look horrible and rusty. There's bolts there that I need to reuse, so I'm really hoping those come out, but uh, I don't know. We'll see. These I can obviously cut out and then just drill. Those I have to reuse, and uh, as you can tell from some hood hinge bolts, I had to weld in a nut. Uh, yeah, so really hoping if this gives me any shit at all i'm gonna break out my bolt heater that i haven't used for a while it's a little induction heater but yeah let's see what happens started taking one off it got two or three threads out and then started locking up i didn't even bother trying the other side broke out the induction heater let's get these babies cherry red my favorite tool in the shop the best thing ever for old cars Yeah! Love this fucking thing! Alright, let's check. <laughs> two for two. Here's a funny story. It was smoking, and I was going, why the hell is it smoking? I forgot I stuck a hot dog in it the last time I used it. <laughs> I started smelling hot dogs and I was like, oh yeah, that's why it's smoking. I started smelling hot dogs and I was like, oh yeah, that's why it's smoking. <laughs> Popped them right out, baby. Now we have to cut those rods out and get rid of the plates. I have the bracing kind of loosely in place. But that definitely needs to be a little more loose, but I was trying to figure out how the hell I'm gonna do this by myself. I also got this in place. Uh, it should be good. I need to put a couple more bolts in up there, but it's fine for now. I was looking at this, I popped the grill out. I think I can sit the hood on there, try and get it to line up here, and then crawl through the grill and throw some bolts in it where I can do this by myself. I don't have to have another set of hands because it's currently the middle of the night, so I wouldn't have any extra hands anyway. Don't know if it's gonna work or not, but let's see what happens. Work. <laughs> We're going to 
gonna time lapse it. You better turn up. You better be there when I shake. Check it out. Gap looks perfect. I like it where it's at. It needs to go just a little bit in the back. This, I was fighting this for a while, and then my dumbass realized it's the fender. <laughs> the fender just needs to adjust it in, which is fine. But my front edge is perfect. Everything is good. All the brackets are loose. So I'm going to crawl into there, tighten them all up, and then we'll try and do its first flip. I think we should be good, but I have no idea. I have turned all these brackets around like 10 different times. So let's see what happens. Man, it's a good thing I'm a little bitty guy and very flexible. Because if I was like, you know, this minute if i was smart i would have built the radiator brackets first because <laughs> i am not taking all that apart there's no way i'm taking this apart because it's easier now i can just you know loosen stuff up and kind of move it around for adjustments i shouldn't have to take everything out and back on so that was dumb but that's all right sometimes we're dumb sweet all right i need to start working on the strikers now i probably should have put those on first but like i said before dumb I spent entirely too much time figuring this out, <laughs> but because my front end is kind of loose or just a little bit of play, right now the only thing holding it up is these bars. Um, I'm gonna have more bars coming across and kind of tying it in to make it stronger. But for now, you know, we're still kind of building this thing, so we're just kind of figuring it all out. The fact that that's not super solid, I mean, it's solid enough to hold everything up, but it just has a little bit of play. These strikers are not hitting exactly where they need to. The hood is over tilting this way, over tilting that way. So, Basically, I said all that to say I am not going to be able to finish installing it right now because we have so many little brackets and shit to make and just other stuff to build. The fenders still need bolted all the way in at the bottom, and then we need braces in there from the bottom. So it's fine. I'm super happy with where I'm at on a stopping point. I have all the stuff to finish the latches whenever we finish up all this fun shit under here uh, before i even start those brackets though i'll probably uh, make the brackets for my grill because right now my grill is kind of floating i don't love that so anyways we're gonna just put a little pin in it for now which is fine i do want to get the radiator mounted though because i don't want to start making brackets off of the frame and off of this mount unless i know exactly where the radiator is going to be so we're going to go ahead and pivot on to the radiator for now i started making up some brackets this is a quarter inch piece. I'm gonna cut it, drill some holes, and then what I will do is I'll take these tabs and actually bolt them to the radiator. And then we'll be able to take the radiator, clamp it in place, make sure it's level, and then we'll be able to weld those tabs in. So uh, yeah, let's uh, get to work. <laughs> Check it out. I got my little tabs bolted up there. Now I have to put this over here and clamp it. And I don't even know if you're gonna be able to see it, but I'm gonna try and show you. And then we'll weld some shit. You better grab that tambourine. Bring a base, we might be wicked. We may be forced to cross the street. Make some trouble, baby. Done, baby! Check it out. Looks great. Love the radiators that have the built-in tabs on them because you just have to drill a couple holes, maybe weld a couple brackets, but super easy. 
real beefy and clean. Also, I mean, the tilt hood kit, I just keep walking around. I'm so happy with it. I love the fact that it tilts and pivots when it goes down. Looks awesome, really, really happy. This build is gonna be getting a lot more airtime here on the channel. I should have been making more videos on it than I have been, but that's gonna change. Also, I think I said it earlier in the video, I finally have an LS3 and a transmission for this 57 Chevy. So we got a lot of really fun projects going on here on the channel. If you are not already subscribed, hit that button now. Thank you very much for watching. Please like, share, comment, all that good stuff they tell you at the end of videos and check out some of my other videos. Also, I promise I will work on the Porsche eventually. Love ya, peace.